What is up everyone? It is Elijah Steven back again with another video for you all. Today is a very, very special video because it's our first car review and uh, what better car to review than this gorgeous RS5. So we're gonna be reviewing this today and we're gonna be breaking it into a few different sections. We're gonna be doing a full exterior walk around for you all. We're gonna do an interior walk around, kind of talk about practicality, practicality and stuff. And then we're gonna also go out for a little drive. So that being said, let's start the video. Alrighty, so we are going to be starting off here with the front end of the car. Um, as you can see, just overall, the styling on this Audi RS5, this is a 2021, but the styling on this RS5 is really aggressive and it looks really, really good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some different kind of areas to take note of. Um, on these newer RS5s, that's different from the older ones, the last gen is the headlights got an update. That looks really, really good. And then we also have this really awesome honeycomb grill that they kind of enlarged from the older RS5s. That looks really, really good. On these headlights, we have the laser LED uh, running lights. And also down here, we can see they blended in the actual you know, parking sensors and everything really, really nicely. It kind of just looks like, almost like a fog light, really. So it, you can't really tell that the sensors are in there, which is a really nice touch because some are just super out there and in the open. And also what's cool on this RS5 is it's the black carbon optic package. So you can see all of this really, really nice gloss black on the grill and on all like the little vents, etc. And then moving around to the side, we can kind of try and talk about this side profile a little bit. Let me stand back for you all. So as you can see, they continuously keep the RS5 and like the A5 S5 models, you know, super, super sleek. Um, it has a really great roof line, as you can see, super, super nice and short. They kept it kind of low um, just to kind of keep up that aggressive styling. And then what I think is really cool is they have this line throughout the entire car, this kind of like body line here that goes from front to back. Looks super cool. And then also on the RS5, you do get the badging on the like the fender and door panel there. That looks really good. And then the door handles too get this really, really nice paint matched door handle that really complements the look of the car as a whole all right and then moving on uh, in these 2021 rs5s we have these beautiful wheels that come on the carbon black optic package and uh, they are 20 inch and they look really really good and then in there you can also see the actual uh, six piston uh, brakes and they are drilled and they look really really good all right, everyone, I wanted to just come to the back real quick and show you the rear end. It looks really, really nice. And first things to note are the rear taillights are upgraded on the RS models. They are a sequential and they are LED and they look really, really good even with when they're not on. Some other things to note are on RS vehicles, they have this really, really cool oval exhaust that they are known for. And uh, this particular car is valved and it sounds really, really good, which you'll hear later in the video. And then also some things to note are this diffuser. It is this nice gloss black, but unfortunately on the RS5, um, it does, it's not like an active diffuser um, like they are on some of the M3s and M4s. So that's really the only negative thing I guess I would really say about it, but it does look really, really, really good. And then you also get this really nice looking lip here that is also in this black uh, gloss and it looks really really good All right, so to start off with we have these beautiful beautiful black leather seats and uh, you can see they have a really nice honeycomb style uh, Contrast stitching in white and then the steering wheel continues that same pattern with the honeycomb and the uh, contrast white stitching and then luckily in the new rs5 we kind of get this nice updated paddles with the uh, slot there through the center and it just helps to create an overall really really aggressive look to go along with the exterior on this left side of the steering wheel we have all of our functions here for the lights and uh, as you can see there's a ton of carbon in this interior that looks phenomenal. Carbon here, carbon on the actual trim there, carbon on the door trim, 
and it all looks super, super good. Then you can see in the RS5, this new 2021 model, they upgraded the uh, heads up display here. Not the heads up display, but the actual multimedia system. And it's a quite, much, a quite a bit much larger than the older one. And then you can also see all your controls, three zone climate control, and they added the little red ring on the start stop button. Also on the RS5 model is the upgraded um, gear selector that looks really, really good. All right, so also we just went ahead and turned on the car. Um, not to the, not didn't actually start it up yet, but we went to this beautiful display here. I wanted to show you. Um, so this is upgraded and updated from the previous RS back in 2019. It had a slightly different layout, but I did want to go ahead and show you this. It has a really cool, I'm not sure if we'll catch it on camera, but it has a really cool heads up display. Kind of show you this view as it changes a little bit. And then on this side, if we go ahead and press the RS button, there we go. The display changes and it gives us this more track inspired look. And then up here, let me get it to come again. The heads up display changes a little bit as well, shows your oil temps and uh, your speed and your times. And it looks really, really good. And moving over here, we have this beautiful, you know, display here for your navigation. And then if you press home, we have all of the different functions and features. Um, one thing I will say that's a little more difficult on this model is that because it's touchscreen, it makes it kind of hard to use while you're driving uh, as opposed to previous models. All right, I wanted to kind of toggle here through the views for you. There, like I said, there's the RS mode. We'll turn that off and then kind of just shift through the different modes. Um, you can see here we have our G meter and just a ton of really, really nice, you know, features that kind of tell us how the car is doing and everything like that. Also, I wanted to point out here, so you can see there's the three zone climate control, um, and it's a really nice feature because, let's get the camera in focus. It's a really nice feature because then your, you know, your rear passengers can kind of decide what kind of temp they want to be in and they're not cooking and you're freezing. Also to note is obviously the RS is going to come with the best of the best seats and you even get a massage function. So what's better than getting massage while you're doing launch control? And uh, they are fully electric. You can adjust them however you want. They're nice and bolstered here. And they, they, you know, they're not too tight, but they do snug you in just right. So also I wanted to go ahead and bring you all into here um, and show you the back because as it being a sport back, it's, you know, it's important to have a little more practicality and you do get that having this back seat. So right now I'm gonna give you the POV of sitting back here. And honestly, it has pretty ample room. Um, I do have a few inches from the driver's seat. Um, you know, I'm 5'10", so if, if you're, you know, 5'10 and under, you probably shouldn't have any problem. And then as far as the actual space goes for your head, there's not a whole lot of space, but you do luckily get some headroom just with the, you know, the sloping roof line that goes down out the back. And then here, I did want to show you this as well. This is the climate control for the rear seats. And that is a really nice feature because not a lot of cars actually have that ability to control, you know, in the back. So you're not, you know, cooking alive or being too cold. And these passenger seats in the rear also are heated as well, which is really nice if you live in a cold climate. All right, so here in the rear, we do have a lot of trunk space. Um, and it is really nice because once these are folded down, you have just so, so, so much room to be able to put all your groceries. And because it is, you know, this, you know, the hatch style, um, you get a lot more room than you would in your, your standard SUV. And then also this middle panel here, 
folds forward so if you have like a snowboard or a pair of skis you can go ahead and fit it through there quite easily all right so now you can see with the uh, rear seats folded down you have just a plethora of room um, you could probably take this to ikea throw in some furniture or you know take you know some stuff throw some pillows back there and go for a camping trip whatever you need this car has the space for it and uh, you do it all in style it looks really good and then it's super practical and it has some pretty crazy performance numbers and then with the rs5 they have made the engine bay quite lovely to look at um, we, with despite just the engine cover alone that looks really nice um, you can see throughout we also have paint matched inside the actual engine bay which you don't get very often and so this car is making 444 horsepower and 443 foot pounds of torque out of a twin turbo v6 engine also wanted to show you all so you can see right through there is the down pipes off the turbo and the turbos i should say and it's really cool because on the rs5 the turbos sit right in the middle of the engine itself all right, everyone, so we are now inside of this RS5, and uh, just first kind of, um, you know, perceptions here is it looks really, really good. Um, here inside the cockpit, um, all of the gauges are, you know, just look really, really crisp and nice. Um, on the display, they look really, really good as well. All right, so first thing to kind of note now that we're driving a little bit is in comfort setting, it just feels like you're floating along. Um, and it feels really, really good. It doesn't feel like super bumpy. The only thing I, other thing I could kind of relate this to is like, my previous Porsche Cayenne S, it had the, this uh, air suspension and it just like kind of always allowed you to feel like you're like surfing on this cloud and that's how it feels like in you know this comfort setting. Steering feels really really good just like you know a perfect daily driver would feel. Yeah so this comfort setting it feels really really good. Anybody could drive it in this setting. It feels really nice. Comes up to speed super smooth. Every gear kind of just like melts into the next uh, which is really nice. It's, there's no jerking sensations. Some of the older like RS, you know, RS5s and other RS models, they were very jolty. Um, some people like that, some people don't. But for the aspect of daily drivability, this you would probably want in a, in a car like this. So we are going to change it from the comfort mode into the next kind of setting um, up and see if the, uh, you know, the exhaust makes a kind of a different sound here for us. That's Sport 1. You can already imagine, like automatically hear the exhaust tone kind of comes up a little bit and it sounds pretty cool. Let's see. It's a lot, a lot louder for sure. And it sounds really good, really crisp. And it feels very, very responsive. Like, I mean, I would assume the RS would feel very responsive, but this feels like my foot is like barely you know feathering the throttle and it just feels like it wants to go in this setting and it sounds really good you can kind of hear like every time you kind of let your foot off you can kind of hear that little crackle car wanting to do its you know little pops and bangs for us it just feels really smooth though even in this you know the sport setting suspension's obviously a little stiffer um but i kind of like that I, I almost uh i enjoy that um, I guess it would depend on what kind of driving you're doing, um, but like just as far as the sport goes, I, I mean, you could probably daily drive in this setting as well, but it definitely is a little stiffer. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but it sounds super good. Super nice. I will say on this, this sport suspension, it almost has like a bumpy kind of sensation to it. I wouldn't call it stiff, but it definitely kind of like bumps around a little bit. To some people that might not be favorable, but I guess in some ways it kind of softens up the ride experience. If you do want something that's gonna stay stiff when you're driving and you know handling through corners, um, but also not feel like your back is breaking on every single bump that some other cars of the class sometimes feel like. All right, so we're gonna kind of show you this kick down here in a second. Make sure we'll, we got a green light and uh, let's see. sounds so good and the kickback you can probably see i went back in my seat i'm i'm in love with this car you all we're gonna need to get an rs5 because this thing sounds crazy we'll go ahead and let you hear that one more time i'll uh, try and open up the window just a little for you 
I love. Here we go, y'all. We're gonna come around this turn, and uh, we're gonna get another kick down for you. And uh, here we go. This thing is very, very zippy. As you can see by the smile on my face, this is very genuine. This is like just very exciting. This car is I, that, that wasn't that was probably fifty percent throttle, guys. Like. It's very fast, very exciting. This is like the perfect daily driving car uh, because you kind of get the best of both worlds, the best of all worlds. This is all you need in a daily driver. It's super fast, all the different comfortable settings you would need. What else could you ask for? We just put it in manual mode. This car is insane, you guys. We're gonna go ahead and here we go. Oh, this is so fast. Oh, I'm gonna give you guys a couple, you know, nice downshifts too, because the way that this pops is just insane. It just sounds so good. This car is fast, you guys. And for it to be a sedan, you know, with this kind of power, this much torque, it feels, it doesn't feel like a sedan. It really feels like you're driving, you know, a coupe, a, a supercar, really. Like, this is faster than a lot of stuff out there. And it just... Whoosh, this car is crazy. I, you can see I'm at a loss for words. It's so cool. It's, like, thrilling to drive. Oh, so, so exciting. I would definitely suggest... If you can, if you're in the market to get one of these and you're on the fence between this and an M4 or something in this in that kind of realm, definitely come and try this this car out because I don't think the M4 is going to deliver kind of the overall experience that this does. This is just this is a special car. for it you guys this car is ridiculous in all the best ways yeah you guys definitely need to buy one of these because this is just this is just a phenomenal car it's just there's just no words for it all right so i also wanted to show you all this parking system it looks really really good and uh the actual camera here is actually pretty good and then you can have you have the top view as well and then there's uh, multiple different angles you can kind of be able to select through just by pressing the button you can get a ton of different you know angles to help you park your car and it looks really really good that's another feature that audi has added to this rs5 that makes it just such a special car